this topic is about the formation of the rainbow as we have gone through the uh, this uh, uh, total internal reflections so we'll be going through the formation of the rainbow first and foremost rainbow formation is because of total internal reflection since we know there are two kinds of rainbow one is the primary rainbow and the other is the secondary rainbow like we have studied about the uh, this uh, prism that the color is being deviated into seven colors same thing happens in the formation of the rainbow the uh, the light from the sunlight that is a white light is being spread into seven different colors that you can see as a rainbow but what is responsible for spreading these colors are the tiny little droplets of the water inside the atmosphere it can be mist it can be fog as well so for the condition of rainbow the first condition is that we should have sunlight and then we should have water droplets the third point is that we should have dispersion reflection for the formation of rainbow so let me explain what happens let's take two water droplets that are <coughs> uh, bigger in size say these are two water droplets inside the atmosphere and you are standing somewhere here and between you uh, there is a horizon okay horizon and these are inside the air so this is your eye here somewhere what happens for the condition of formation of rainbow the sun has to be at the back side of you and the water droplets have to be at the front side if the sun is towards the right side the droplets have to be on the left side that is the condition which is very necessary so when the sunlight for example sun is here when the sunlight falls on this water droplet what happens inside as i already told you that there is dispersion of light so red does not get deviated much and then we have the violet color which gets deviated a lot from the normal so this is the normal now let's take the individual normals for both these the red will get internally reflected inside the water droplet once with the same angle as it was incident and violet will also get reflected back so remember that the formation of primary rainbows there is only one total internal reflection only one total sorry total internal reflection after after the uh, there is a total internal reflection here and here the red will touch the surface of the water droplet and this is a denser medium so again it has to come back to the rarer medium that is the air what will happen it will go away away from the normal and strike our eye hair and violet will go somewhere else sorry this will be straight into our eyes see so this is the eye hair so red will reach our eyes and this whole drop of water will appear red to you now now the next water droplet same condition sunlight will strike it here then red will get deviated a little violet will get deviated more 
there is internal reflection this time red will go somewhere away and violet will reach our eyes like this so this is violet and this is red reaching our eye so this band there will be diff, uh, more uh, five colors in between that is v i b g y o r this is the rainbow that will reach our eyes 